Okay, this is uh, Prince DJ, and um, well, Hank of the Way, welcome to Big D Country. Now, um, pay no attention to the battery that needed in the smoke detector, or the battery that needed change in the smoke detector. Uh, as m many of you may know, I'm in a group home in Lamar, Texas, and uh, yeah, so. Obviously, it's not my call uh, to change the battery in an alarm. If it was, I would get somebody else to, uh, to help me with it. But, uh, yeah, so, and there's have been other places that I had to deal with uh, the battery changing. I just wish it was a thought. I just wish it was a quiet, needed battery change alarm. But anyway, anywho, well, um, it's a big week after the returns of all uh, CM Punk, um, Randy Orton and also our truth. Uh, for as far as what I heard, uh, Randy Orton and um, and CM Punk will be on Raw. They could also be a SmackDown. So who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah. So other than that, other than that, um. Boy, uh, remember I told you, by the way, the names is going to be changed to protect the innocent of Queen Elect, as I, as I always will mention. Uh, don't know the status of my, uh, Queen Elect, uh, Janice, um, that's the change name, uh, of Princess Elect. Uh, she had, I had not seen her since before Thanksgiving and after the situation with the car broke down and then she only came back one day before poof literally disappeared and cause you know like a lot of times when you go on Thanksgiving uh, go to see family on Thanksgiving then you go back to work and then you come back to see family again on Christmas and New Year's well I don't know I don't know what's going on I don't, I don't know you know what's going on uh, and then, on top of all that, Chief Justice just bring me, bring me the news, well, actually, uh, actually, the, uh, the Secretary of the Court in the Supreme Court of Big D Country just told Prince, uh, Prince, I'm Prince DJ. <laughs> oh, my God, I call Chief Justice Prince. Oh, my God. No, uh, Chief Justice, uh, the Secretary of the Court of uh, the Supreme Court of Big D Country, uh, told Chief Justice about Taylor Swift getting engaged to uh, uh, Travis uh, K. And I'm not going to spoil the name. And I, that's when I got, you know, like I got lost in <laughs> Uh, and I covered the NFL pickup. <laughs> uh, where's my queen elect? Where is my queen elect? And now I got, and then another thing, not only I got to be scared about Christmas, but I also got to be scared because this is going to be told, uh, according to uh, Yahoo New, the wedding of the century when it happens. Oh boy. Help. Anyway, uh, you know what, since I, uh, I thought I didn't have to be jealous anymore. I, I, I was so happy I didn't have to be jealous, and then I was looking forward to the, uh, the, um, uh, Queen of Light, um, Janet's return, yeah, Janet's return, uh, to the Second Palace, and gates haven't opened, haven't come back to the Second Palace yet. Uh, I, uh, I I I I I don't I don't know what I don't know what to say. I just really don't want to know what to say. I mean, I got the hardest because my late wife loved Christmas. I mean, she played Christmas music every day, every single day. Yeah, I could take the decoration. I could take the lights. I could take the tree. I mean, I'm even part of the Council of Santas. That's my running Christmas joke. But if you play Christmas music, I'm gonna go bonkers. I'm just literally going to go bonkers. Yeah. But 
I mean, yeah, there's some, there's one Christmas movie that I forgot that was safe to watch, because they don't play that much of Christmas music, uh, which is A Christmas Carol. It's only talk about uh, Ebenezer Scrooge and the three ghosts, and, and the scariest one is The Ghost of Christmas Future. I think that's safe. I don't, I don't recall if Miracle on 34th Street is safe. You know, the one that uh, plays in... Um, uh, the one that plays Santa, the Macy's, uh, the Santa that's so so real that Macy's even hired him to be the Santa, um, and uh, I don't know, I don't know, I forgot, I I, I couldn't tell if uh, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street would be a safe movie for me, but I know Christmas Carol definitely is, and I think it's a Wonderful Life is too, but I don't know, I don't know, I think a Wonderful Life is. So, there are safe movies that I can watch on Christmas. So, but anyway, uh, that's not why we're here. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to wait till I get this story after I get to the NFL pickup because I want to do this before the game comes because it's been so cold. And, oh yeah, I learned it does get cold in Texas. Yes, it does get cold in Texas. Oh my cat. Ah. And yes, uh, houses does get lose power when there's storm. One day the the house lost power, but thank God that there was a a generator. Thank God, and my phone one day was forty nine percent, and I think I was sleeping when it happened. So I slept in the storm, but then usually I when I catch it, it's uh, already to ninety nine percent. But I caught it; it was forty nine percent. I was like, what the hell? Uh, and now, my my queen elect, come on, and I'll tell a Swiss story. Let's get to the NFL pickup, shall we? And 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 again, please ignore the, the fire alarm uh, uh, battery indicator because I have no say so. I have no control of it. I'm just here. I just pay rent to stay here. Okay. And I don't even call this home now that uh, my Queen Electa is not here. I don't even know what the heck is going on. But uh, anyway, let's give with the NFL pickup. I'll go to the start. I'll go go to the us for story uh, a little bit later. And I gotta start over again. Come on now, get back to the week thirteen. I'm doing it early so I can do the week uh, the week of uh, twelve um, uh, the other day. I'm trying to buy me some more. Th- I'm trying to buy me some time. It has been cold all uh, during the night, so. Uh, and when the and then when the heater is on, it's almost feel like it's like eighty five and ninety degrees, and my my body just can't even stand the heat or the cold. I'm the male version of Goldilocks. Yes, Goldilocks is real, but the male version is me. Anyway, uh, the first game is the Thursday night action. And it's going to bring you the Seahawks versus the Cowboys. Oh, one of my teams. Okay. I'm going to pick the Cowboys at the head and the Seahawks at the tail. That's called double down country. Now we're getting back into the Sunday's games. And they're all 12 o'clock until I say so. And now the bottom line, because Prince DJ said so. Anyway, <laughs> Colts versus Titans, double down. Colts will be the head. Titans will be the tails. Falcons versus Jets. I'm going to do something new. I'm going to go Fal- Falcons uh, the head and the Jets uh, will be the tail because sometimes uh, Jets have been 50 50 uh, this season. So Falcons are going to be the head this time. Oh, no, you did not. You did not plan and pin the Saints. With the pesky lucky lion. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. This is going to be a ride or die matchup. I am definitely going with the Saints all the way. Again, and I repeat, I'm going with the Saints all the way. Hmm. Broncos, Texans. You know, the Broncos have been a sk- in a skid these past couple of weeks, uh, especially this season, especially after the. Uh, after the um oh yeah, especially after the diamonds have become their kryptonite. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put the Texans, which is my other team, at the head. And then I'm putting the Broncos at the tail. There you go. There you go. Are you kidding? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. A refused pick. There is going to be a refused pick. I will not. I repeat. I will not pick between the Chargers and the Patriots. Scratch that game. Scratch it off of the memory. I will not pick that game. I don't like greed. I don't like the Patriots. So there. No picks. Wow. Moving on. All right. Uh, Cardinals versus the Steelers. Now, that's going to be a double down. I'm going to say the Steelers is going to be the head, and the Cardinals is going to be the tails. Speaking of the devil, I was just talking about the Dolphins. They're playing against the most stupidest, and I mean the stupidest team in the history name of all the sports and in the history of all of the NFL I'm talking about the Washington Commander. Like, they couldn't even think of another name. What about the Viper? What about uh, something scary, like a rattlesnake or something? Uh, what about the Tigers? Anything scary. But the Commander, that is not scary. That is not scary. Come on. But anyway, I'm going all the way, ride or die for the Dolphins. Evie out. Evie out. As usually we would say when we were kids, right? <laughs> Oh, that's easy out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, don't mind my, don't mind me. I'm, 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 I'm getting a heart attack and I'm going crazy. Anyway, okay, another writer died because the Panthers is playing the Buccaneers now. As much as I don't like the, as I don't like the Panthers, I don't want to see the Buccaneers win either. Uh, I don't know if I should do a ride or die or no pick because after what happened in, in, in Houston and they won on on a last minute field goal when they had to do twice on a full quarter. You know what? I'm not picking that game. I'm not picking the game between the Panthers and the Buccaneers. I'm done. I'm done for that week. So we got two no picks. We got the uh, Chargers, uh, Patriots, I'm not picking. And then we got the Panthers, uh, Buccaneers, I'm not picking. No picks. No bond. No bond. Okay. Or no moss. Anyway, 49ers versus the Eagles. Now this is a double down. I'm going with the Eagles to be the head and the 49ers to be the tails. Oh, and that's Taylor Swift team because she's from Philadelphia. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, uh, the Browns is... Uh, okay. 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 All right. We can get through this. This is... Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot. The game. The other game that, uh, that I did not pick is a 305 game. The uh, Panthers versus the Buccaneers. And then the 325 game was the 49ers and the Eagles. Uh, the one that I did the double down pick. Now the 325, the second 325 is going to be the Browns versus the Rams, which is the Traders, something that I never picked in the history of the NFL pickup. And I will not do that until the day that I die. But so you know what? I'm picking the Browns all the way. I'm picking the Browns all the way. I'm going to say this one. I'm going to say this uh, primetime Sunday game for that because it got about that story that I'm going to read to you in about in a few minutes time. A uh, special story from the story from the office of the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, the Secretary's Division. Anyway, I'm going to skip right through to Monday night. Because the uh, the uh, the Browns Traders game is at three twenty five, I'll double back to Sunday's game so that I can put that story. Monday night action, December fourth, will be a seven fifteen game. It's gonna be the Brown uh the well, the Browns. Yipes, I just talked about the Browns. Okay, long shot. That was the long shot. The Bengals versus the Jaguars. Okay. 
I'm going to go with the Bengals to be the head and the Jaguars to be the tails. Now, let me go back to the Sunday, December the 3rd game, which is the 7.20 p.m. game, the last game on that Sunday schedule, which brings you after a uh, after a great law, uh, great great win with uh, against the lion, uh, was it the, the lion? And I saw that game on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a little bit of that game, the the Packers Lions game on Thanksgiving, when I was at the other group home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now they draw the Chiefs in the Sunday night matchup, and I'm gonna pick. The Chiefs at the head, and the Packers at the tails. So, Chiefs head, Packers tail, and at your double down. Before we end this extravaganza of the uh, uh, NFL pickup for the prediction week, yeah, I got to bring you the news that was brought to me, to my attention, by the Office of the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Country. The Secretary of the Courts told Chief Justice that Travis K., which I'm not going to butcher his name, and Taylor Swift will be engaged by Christmas that Scott gives blessing for next step. And I will be including this article. Yeah, I will be including in this article. Yeah. So, uh, Taylor Swift is, a fu- is full of surprises while performing karma about performing karma at her Aries tour stop in uh, Bernal uh, Aries, uh, uh, Argentina, on November 11. Oh, that was a few days before my birthday. A few days before my 50th birthday. Okay, the pop star changed the lyric. Uh, the pop star changed the lyrics from the guy on the screen, uh, presumably a reference to her ex actor, uh, Joe, uh, Joe A. Again, I'm not picturing the name. To the guy on the cheese coming straight home to me. The entire uh, uh, audience erupted into screams in the VIP session. Her, uh, her boo of three months, uh, Kansas City Chiefs tight end uh, Travis K gave, got a clap on uh, got a clap on the back from Scott Swift. Then ta- then Travis covered his face with his hand, briefly hiding his wide grin. And then, oh my God, he is blushing. Just uh, one fan, while wow. another noted, all oh, that's Taylor's dad uh, freaking out, too. And then the rest of the story goes, I'm going to give you the rest of the story so you can read that, but I'm going to go straight to the Christmas proposal, and then and then when it says the, uh, it could be the wedding of the century. Uh, remember the royal wedding? A- anyway. Uh, they're both seen been swept off their feet. This uh, romance has been a whirlwind that the uh, stores, but even even their loved ones can't see how special it is. Like uh, Scott Taylor's uh, mom and the, um, Andrea, I hope I got that right. Is thrilled her daughter found uh, Travis uh, uh, another good sign. Uh, Travis long time. Uh, Travis long time. Um, friend, like the video, like the video of uh, Taylor's karma. Uh, shout out to him. Okay, now the wedding of the century. Uh, she definitely committed. Uh, Taylor had been spending more time at uh, Travis Kansas City home, and she's letting herself dream about a wedding. Says the source, and you get the picture. So, with that, that is your week 13 of the NFL Pick Up. 
I'm yours truly, Prince DJ, and this is the home of the best citizen on the net today. And I'm freaking out, and I'm about to have a heart attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not here to stay a widower forever. I'm here to find another wife. <laughs>